News 6 is uncovering new information about three Central Floridians accused of voter fraud. Those residents of the villages are accused of voting twice in the 2020 election. Tonight, we reveal how they were caught. News 6 investigator Mike DeForest broke this story at 6 o'clock. He has more details on the investigation, all new at 11, Mike. Well, Lisa, this crime was not uncovered by Florida elections officials. Instead, according to records that we obtained from the state attorney, an anonymous person who researches voter registration data as a hobby discovered some voting irregularities. Earlier this year, elections officials nationwide received anonymous emails like this one from someone using the name Totes Legit Votes, who's described as a citizen election integrity analyst. The emails contain the names and addresses of voters who may have cast ballots in multiple states. Those anonymous emails eventually led to the arrests of these three residents of the villages who are accused of voting twice in the 2020 presidential election, once in Florida and once in their original home states. I did not willfully vote twice in the same election. Jay Ketzik, who used to live in Michigan, told investigators he sold his home there in July 2020, which online property records confirm, and then moved to this home in central Florida. I had the ballot filled out. I had possession of it. Ketzik suggested that his Michigan absentee ballot must have accidentally been dropped in the mail, possibly while he was moving. I had no intention of mailing that second ballot back to Michigan. And if it got mailed, it got mailed by mistake. But investigators say Ketzik signed his Michigan ballot on September 30th, months after he sold his Michigan home. Four days later, Ketzik signed his Florida mail-in ballot, records show. According to investigators, both ballots were postmarked in Orlando, one week apart. Authorities say similar voting records show John Ryder and Joan Halstead voted in both Florida and New York. All three, who were registered as Republicans, have pleaded not guilty. As for the anonymous tipster who sent emails to elections officials identifying possible voter fraud, that person tells News 6 he did it because, quote, you can't claim the system is working if random Internet people have to find the violations for you. That anonymous tipster tells me that they've reported more than 800 instances of questionable voting in 14 states, but that person is unaware if any of the other tips resulted in criminal prosecutions. Now, according to records provided by the state attorney, at least one other Sumter County resident is being investigated for double voting. Lisa and Matt. Mike DeForest, thank you.